Snow continues to make its way across the heartland, but most of that is actually coming to an end. But be sure to grab the umbrella, the rain jacket, and the hat as you're heading out the door this morning. But we're going to pivot from that to a live look from the KTVO Skycam located on top of the Sullivan County Public Library in Milan. As you can see in Milan, your weather maker is pretty much all said and done with. But then we're going to pivot from that even some more. And as the kids are heading out to school today, we'll still have them have that umbrella and light jacket with them as we're going to be seeing temperatures as they get dropped off at school into the mid 30s, warming to near 40 degrees by the lunchtime hours. And then by this afternoon, we're looking at temperatures generally into the low to mid 40s around the heartland. But around the area today, you're going to be possibly saying compared to what we saw earlier this week, could I be wearing any more clothes? Because we're looking at high temperatures today, topping out around 41 degrees in Milan, 42 in Kirksville, 42 in Ottumwa. And I say that because if you remember on Monday and yesterday, we were talking about high temperatures into the mid to upper 50s. Well, not the case for today. On top of that, it is going to be a breezy day out there across the heartland with winds gusting up to about 30 miles per hour out of the east. But let's jump into when we can expect this latest weather maker to move out of the area. So we're going to lift and slide it out of the area over the next couple of hours. And then we're going to be saying to ourselves, we were on a break over the next 12 to 24 hours before we're looking at the next weather maker arriving across the heartland. And it's going to be saying, how are you doing? I'm here to stay for a little bit as you're going to be seeing some snow impact southeastern Iowa, but we're looking at more rain impacting northeast Missouri. With this latest weather maker for Thursday, that's going to be coming to an end by Thursday night. And then by the time you're waking up on Friday, while well, you're going to be saying to yourself, it's just going to be looking pretty cloudy out there and you're not going to be having to pivot away from anything come Friday and that break from we were on will be officially over with. But over time we are looking at for rainfall totals anywhere between about a half to three quarters of an inch of rainfall with this upcoming weather maker from now until Friday morning. Now when we're going to pivot and talk about snow, well, we're looking at possibly seeing one to three inches of snow for primarily southeastern Iowa. If you are like a big time snow lover and you want to be wearing all those clothes, well, you're going to have to head north of the heartland where they are going to be seeing some heavy snow. But by the time we're week reaching the weekend, yeah, we're looking at another chance of some rain and snow. And then we're going to be also springing forward. So if you're like Joey Tribbiani, you're going to be saying, what's up with that? When he was trying to be a 19 year old in that show. And then we're going to be seeing that rain and snow chance come to an end by early on Sunday morning. But don't forget to turn those clocks ahead an hour by 2 o'clock on Sunday morning. For Friday, mostly cloudy, high temperatures into the upper 30s. And then we'll finally see some sunshine return to the area for Monday and Tuesday with high temperatures still into the lower 40s. Overnight lows will continue to be into the 20s and 30s. So as always, you can stay updated 24-7 at KTVO.com. Jordan. Back to you. Which Matt are you again? Okay, thanks, Matt.